What's up, Bodoers? As always, I'm glad you're back. Today we're talking byproducts, and no, I don't mean when I buy products on the internet, although I do love a bit of online shopping. Sometimes during manufacturing, in addition to the product we want to create, an additional product is created as well. Take our chair product for example. We need 10 units of wood to manufacture it. While most of the wood itself ends up in the chair, some of it's left over to form scrap wood. In the case of residual materials like scrap wood, it sometimes makes sense to dispose of them entirely. In that case, check out our scrap orders tutorial to learn more about that. However, sometimes byproducts can be useful in other ways. For example, we can use our scrap wood to create cutting boards. By using byproducts in Odoo's manufacturing app, we can designate a byproduct on another product's bill of materials or BOM, allowing us to track the quantity we produce of the byproduct. So let's jump into our database now to see how it all works. All right, the first thing I need to do is make sure that the byproduct setting is enabled. To do so, I'm gonna click on configuration and then down to settings, and I'm gonna make sure that the checkbox next to byproducts is ticked. I've already done so, but after you enable it in your database, make sure to click save before moving on. Now, let's take a look at our bomb that I've created for our chair product. I can find that by selecting products and then bill of materials and then selecting our chair bomb. On the components tab, we can see that the producing chair requires 10 units of wood. The chair also requires two operations to be completed, which I can see by clicking on the operations tab. First, I need to cut the wood, and then second, we'll use that wood to assemble our chair. Next, in the operations tab, we have the byproducts tab. This appears because we enabled the byproduct setting, and it allows us to specify the residual products that are created while processing the manufacturing order. As I previously mentioned, manufacturing the chair also creates some scrap wood. So I'll specify that on the byproducts tab by clicking add a line and then selecting our scrap wood in the byproduct field. I know that three units of our scrap wood will be created each time, so I'm going to enter a quantity of three here. Finally, we have the produced in operation field. Here we can specify during which operation the product is created. Our scrap wood is produced while cutting the wood for our chair. So I'm going to select our cut wood operation for the produced in operation field. All right, that's all we need to worry about for our bomb. Now let's produce one unit of our chair product to see how the byproducts are created. So I'm going to select on products first and then products once again, just so we can get a hand count of how much chair units we have as well as scrap wood. And as you can see, we have five units of our chair and 15 units of our scrap wood. Now I'm gonna click on operations and then select manufacturing orders and select new to create a new MO. In the product field, I'm gonna select chair and then simply just confirm this MO. Let's go ahead and select the byproducts tab. And this is where I can see the scrap wood product listed. You'll also notice the checkbox in the produced column is unticked since there isn't a process yet to create the scrap wood. So I'll do that now by clicking on the work orders tab where I can see both of my work orders and I'm just gonna go ahead and click start for the cut wood operation. And then when I'm finished with this, all I have to do is click done. Now when I return to the byproducts tab, I can see that the checkbox next to scrap wood is now ticked confirming that the byproduct has been created. All right, let's go ahead and complete the rest of the MO by simply clicking produce all. And now if I navigate to products and then products once again, I can see my updated on hand count of scrap wood has increased by three, as well as my chair, as expected. With scrap wood available in my inventory, I can use it to produce units of our cutting board product, like I mentioned in the beginning of this video. And that's it for today, folks. You now know how to designate byproducts on a bill of materials and how to track the time of byproducts produced in each manufacturing order. Until next time, thanks for watching.